It's 6.30 in the morning, why is it pitch black outside? <laughs> Can you see that? Mum's just on her way here for the Royal Bucks Half, we're running that together today. I know what it's like to be on your way to a race, whereas for me, I'm just going to hold my mum's hand. So like, I'm feeling very chill and excited, but I feel like she's got the pre-race nerves. But it's fine, because I got her back. Steve's still asleep, because... Uh, but I'm trying to get in the flow of like my morning routine. Coffee? Look at this, it's the scene of the crime from last night. <laughs> Mum and Tian are going to be here at like half seven, which is pretty early considering the start time is nine, but the reason for that is that I have brand deal to film and I'm doing it with my mum in it. It's like a skincare thing, you may have seen it on my Instagram, but basically, I feel really bad because I made her get up at disgusting o'clock on her race day, poor woman. To give you the context that I didn't get to give on Instagram, I actually went to see a dermatologist yesterday because whenever I get given a product, I always want to make sure that I have some background knowledge of the product. So I took it to a dermatologist yesterday and like asked the questions I needed to ask so I feel decent about it. Yeah, the, the post that you see isn't the only work for me that goes behind it. You know, I, I do try and do my research. Oh, 7.25, she's making moves. Okay, so that means she's going to be here in like 40 minutes. <laughs> okay, so I have to drink these. Okay, hopefully it's less echoey in here. It's actually really nice to have a morning where I'm going to a race, but like I'm excited for it because normally you just feel sick with adrenaline and nerves, don't you? But like the fact that I get to just go and hold my mum's hand and just get her through this massive milestone, like I love doing this for her. This is our second year doing it and it's, just, it's literally the best feeling. You literally wouldn't know this if you looked at my mum now, but she's really actually quite newly into fitness. Growing up, we used to fight about it all the time because from the perspective that she was brought up, doing fitness was really selfish like there was better way to spend your time cleaning the house earning money that kind of thing um so we just never really bonded over that and she we used to pick arguments a lot with each other because she just thought it was really selfish so i'd be going to gym so like to see her do a full 360 and go from being like a heavy smoker that had never done a workout class to someone that's running a casual half marathon on a sunday it's just crazy do you know, I actually think one of the coolest things about getting my mum to do fitness challenges like this is it's actually pretty cool to check in on her and see how like she's going with her training plan, how she's feeling, ask for things that just make her feel important and make her feel like kind of a big deal because otherwise I feel like it's always just me dumping my problems on her. So it's always really fun to actually be able to turn tables around and to be able to support her in this way. I mean, it's the least I can do after 30 years of being a brat. 29. She always tells me that growing up, she would actually get in trouble for wearing things like shorts, like showing skin or like wearing androgynous clothing would get her in trouble. So I always just want to like check in and know how she's doing mentally because I know she's 60, but sometimes she's just a little girl. And sometimes I don't think that they know to process the things that they went through when they were younger. I really hope I get to meet some of you on the start line today. I'm still taking these every morning. It's been like three weeks now. I actually haven't seen any difference yet. So I guess we're going to have to see. Um, but we'll report back. Just in case you didn't know, we're actually running it with Sweaty Betty. <laughs> Big race day essentials. Smell nice. If you smell nice, I feel like you have such a good day. I don't know if you smell the Sol de Janeiro body oil. <laughs> shorts are pretty cool, huh? And they've got the inner shorts inside them, which I love. And then, oh, that smells so good. And then, any anti chafe balm of choice. I tend to use this one or Body Guide. In between the legs. And then also anywhere that your sports bra might chafe. I'm gonna go do my hair, be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Steve just had to give me the dandruff sweet, but we out here. Got a little slick back bun. And then our t shirts have like the sweaty Betty Royal Parks half logos on them. See? And I'm hopefully mum's remembered to wear her. Okay, she's here. Did she crash now? <laughs> Stand up, let me see your outfit. That looks so nice. Gives a little spin. Oh, looks really good on you. I think I might tuck mine in. My sunglasses. You can't go put your sunglasses on. Such a diva. Come on. See? Wait, so you think we should do it after as well, right? Yeah? Plus, it does make sense for us to film it, like, because we're going to need to use skincare after running because normally what happens is you write a brief and you send it to the brand and they okay it and the brand's okay for me to use the skincare in the morning in the video like i would normally but we're kind of in a bit of a rush to get to the start line and i do feel like it makes sense to use it after we've done the run as well so i'm just going to do that and hope that the brand's okay with it because that is authentically how we're going to be using the product anyway and plus it's too much stress in the morning before a half marathon you know
Mm. Hey guys, do you think I should wear these shorts instead? Or would you like the ones I was just wearing? I like these. Do you prefer these? Because they're similar to mine. Yeah, but do, do they look good on me or no? They do. But yeah, do you prefer these or the ones I was wearing? I can't remember. <laughs> Welcome to Steve's mind. He sleeps with a hammer no. next to the bed. No, no, it's not how it works. Oh, Steve, you played out the bagels so nicely. Have you seen this? You can always tell a parent when they put a tissue with food. Yeah, I know. How cute is that? What we're going to do is we're probably going to start running at about nine. So probably about like eight, quarter past eight, we'll have the bagels. Because yeah. you'll probably do like five to seven K before we even get to the start line. Yeah. I had to buy game for that, and that's yeah. Kind of People don't, you don't really realize, no. but it's super important. Mm -hmm. So we'll make Steve. You don't run on gels or anything. I don't really care about a time today, so I'm really happy to just go slowly and eat as much as I need. Do you remember my last one? Gels really help. Really help. It's not just gels that helped. Fuel helps. But sometimes for me. Eating sweets is difficult mid run. Yeah, for sure. Some people will find that, yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon they're running too? Definitely. Yes, this is my angle. <laughs> I'm going to start in about 15 minutes, so I'm having 5 0. So I'm going to have my baguette. The best bagel you ever had. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we didn't walk this. <laughs> it would have been fun. I would have cried. You have cried? No, but it's. No, but, yeah. So we have a dilemma. I don't actually have my bib, so we have to decide if we have enough time to get my bib before we start. I lost my bib in the move. Yes, we found it. Oh. Classic me left until today. Hey, um, Savannah Satcher. It's already fun. Have you seen mine? Yeah, it looks good. Better. Really good. Looks good. It's really good as well. It's really good. She's got nervous because she's got me. Hey, go, go, go. <laughs> Oh my god, god. Yeah! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Just popped into Harrods for a treat. Mum's a big coconut girl. Mum's a big coconut girl. <laughs> Anything with coconut in it. I'm going to go with dark one and the... You'd want dark and light one? Yeah. Okay. This is a cheesecake truffle. Mm. Yummy. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you guys just find out that they use tasters? <laughs> Look at these. Butterscotch truffles. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You might as well try them. <laughs> Just rinse the tasters. <laughs> That's right, I like you. Yeah, you've got to be done, thank you. No. We've just done a half marathon, so. Oh, you do that in Hyde Park? How mm -hmm. is it? Really fun. This is definitely the first time I've seen this many brown and black women run it as well, so it's oh, really cool. Lovely. Fucking cool, yeah. yeah. I'm going to try next time. Do it. Like do it. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. So, Mum's half marathon. Hey. It's a few days later now. Steve, what day is it? Tuesday. I've cooked up a store. Do you want to see? Chicken. <laughs> cook. I don't cook. I don't cook. No lies at all. Before I go, I just want to show you this. We've got invited to Donut Tellier. Steve, shh, I'm filming. No, I'm kidding. Actually, you can wash up. Keep washing up. They are so good. We've got to go taste loads of them in the in the cafe as well. How does one sign out a vlog? <laughs> Over and out. I might start doing these weekly, so maybe see you next week. Anyway, thank you, love you, bye.